Business Central Initial Setup. Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how easy it is to perform initial setup on Netgear Business Central. In today's video, we'll log into Business Central, create a location, create a wireless network, and associate an AP with that wireless network. So what we're going to do is open our browser and go to businesscentral.netgear.com. First step is to sign in. And click login. So after you're logged in, go to accounts and make sure that you have an active license. Since this is a newly created account, I still have 90 days remaining on my trial. After you verify that you have an active license, go to configuration. Click on the new location button. For step one, we're going to tell Business Central where exactly this location is going to be. Since Business Central is integrated with Google Maps, you can either enter a particular address or search for your location. Next, select your country. In step three, give your location a name as well as the name and email of the contact for this particular location. For step four, enter a strong password. This password will be the one used to gain access to individual devices at this location. Finally, click save. Once we've successfully created our location, go to Wireless Networks. Click on the New Wireless Network button. Let's go ahead and create a guest network. For SSID, I'll just go ahead and enter guest. And for authentication type, I'll use WPA Personal. Give it a nice strong password. Uh, you can also do other interesting things such as add a captive portal to this wireless network. This is something that we will cover in another video. Since this is a guest network, I'm going to go ahead and check the enable client isolation box. Finally, click save. Once we have our guest network created, we're going to go ahead and add an AP to this location. To do that, click on Devices. Click on the New Device button. So to register an access point to this location, I'm going to need the serial number of that access point. As you can see, once I've successfully typed in the serial number, Business Central will automatically detect what model it is. Finally, I'm going to give my access point a name and click Save. After the AP has been added to the location, there's one final step. Go to Accounts and add your newly created location to this account. To verify that you've done everything correctly, go to the monitoring page. After a minute or two, the monitoring page should indicate that the access point is online. Thanks for watching.